in all reality, for rescue purposes, what the progression really would look like on the most common mechanical advantage haul systems that you're going to use. So without looking at this rope grab, this is my load and this is my haul team. This is a one-to-one -one change of direction and that's it. So we add a rope grab, in this case a mechanical rope grab. Via rescue sender, we can do friction hitches via prussics, but they're all, uh, I don't like them. Uh, prussics are a compromise. If I have this, I'm gonna use this every time because it's really nice. So we have a three to one simple without any change of direction. If we're hauling on flat ground, this is perfectly fine. If we're on a slope or something and we, we can kind of capitalize on our body weight to help us uh, just sit back into the system and lean back into it, we can put a change of direction. If this was on flat ground, all this change of direction does is actually add more friction and it, it decreases what the actual mechanical advantage really is. But if I could overcome that by leaning down and hauling downhill with my body weight, this is a viable option. So this is a three to one simple with a final change of direction. Um, I still wanna lean down into it, but I wanna maximize uh, my total efficiency with the gear I have. And let's say that I'm just a one man haul team and I have nothing else around me. I, I maximize, I put, this, I put this change of direction pulley to work for me by making it move into a complex system. And when I simply just move my change of direction from here, attach it to a rope grab right here, I make this a complex system. This is a complex five to one. So if I'm shorthanded and I wanna maximize, like if I only have two pulleys, this is like the best I'll be able to do. A complex five to one. Minimal amount of gear, um, the only downside is that at two blocks a little bit earlier than, than you'd like. So you'd have to do a couple of resets. Three to one, no change of direction. If I want to say, okay, um, even if we had a change of direction here, it's fine. Uh, I wanted more and I wanted to do, a, and I had more gear and I wanted to do a five to one simple because I wanted to two block this. Um, and I wanted my resets to be a little bit uh, more efficient. I can just remove the directional start with a regular three to one without a change of direction um, and whenever I convert I always want to convert close I want to keep everything kind of tight as opposed to having this way out there and I'm dealing with a lot of cordage so a good way to do this is to get yourself set up and I'm choosing a double sheath pulley you don't have to but this makes everything a lot cleaner I'm gonna take the, the entire single pulley here that was my uh, this is my haul pulley on my three to one right there. And I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna, I'm gonna fold this in half and make a bite. And this becomes a change in direction instead. I can use the Beckett of my Maestro. The only problem with that is it shifts all the cords uh, and makes it overlap, um, which can get a little bit confusing. Um, so I typically try to avoid using the Beckett unless I absolutely have to. And it's like my last choice. This is where my double sheave pulley goes in right here. So I put a double sheave right through here. So right there, that's one bite, close that in. Another bite, close that in. And now we have a simple five to one. Granted, there's a little crisscross here, um, that's okay. Extend it out, and a simple five to one. If you need more than this, we're gonna start thinking about uh, directing our uh, systems out through directionals. This is what, when we can stagger our systems out and now we're creating compound systems. Again, this is just a change of direction, doesn't do any mechanical advantage for us. And now I can move this and I can stagger my system out to another anchor and put a mechanical advantage system in here that'll compound onto this, onto this five to one. However, when we do uh, staggered systems, you wanna make your, this throw here as low as possible to maximize where you need to put your anchor when you stagger. So if I'm gonna do a directional, but I don't want to have like a lot of mechanical advantage in here if I know I'm going to split it out somewhere else. So if we look here, this is our three to one. Put this back. Now we have our three to one. And then I'm going to direct this away somewhere else so I can put a mechanical advantage compound out here somewhere else on a, on a smaller mechanical advantage up front. Uh, a little bit more efficient. I'll cover that in another video. Um, let's do a compound system. So let's leave this here. Let's go to the red rope. Okay, this is my load right here. Uh, I have my haul cam or my haul rope grab friction hitch, whatever you want to call it. 
and I take my rope up through. This is a three. This is a three to one simple. I come back, make it a three to one simple with a change of direction. I take this bite, come back, and now I compound another three to one on top of this existing three to one with another friction hitch or a rope grab. It's piggybacking when you, uh, when you compound the same mechanical advantage onto the same mechanical advantage. So when you compound a three to one onto a three to one, it's a piggyback uh, nine to one. So we're multiplying simple systems together. So here we have our Z rig right here, these three that, so here up, that's a Z rig, a three to one. And then here, one, two, three back, that's a three to one Z rig right here. Three to one times three to one is a compound nine to one. And we haul on this. The problem with uh, doing compound systems all in line on the same anchor. As you can see that uh, my haul strand, I'm moving a lot faster and this rope grab is moving a lot faster than the other rope grab. And so now I two block and I can't go any further, but look how far away my haul cam is again. So I have to reset this out again. So that's one reset and then keep going. That's two resets. And now that's three resets and you can see how inefficient this can be when you have a lot of mechanical advantage in your in just in one section here you have to keep resetting over and over and you still haven't had to reset your main your initial uh, three to one uh haul pulley so i'm still having to reset still having to do that still having to do this so this can get frustrating um it's better to split your compound systems up by directing them to other anchors. Um, if you can't do that, and there's just no way in hell that you can find a directional anchor to separate your compound systems, it's probably better to rig a complex system, like a complex five to one or a complex seven or a complex nine. And yes, uh, with those complex systems, while you do have to reset uh, more than once until this, this final rope grab can two block, you're resetting less than you would if you were, if you were doing a compound system in the same anchorage. Um, and we'll cover staggered systems in another video.